In 100 hours, I need to have coded a fully working Squid Game recreation in Minecraft. I plan to create 5 maps, 5 game modes, a 100 player event, and an insane video about it, which will release after this video. Will I be able to code all these games and finish it before the trend dies? Let's find out. The first game we need to work on is obviously Red Light Green Light, which is a game where you have to make it to the other side of a sandy field without a doll seeing you move. Much like What's the Time Mr. Wolf, if you know that game. Except it's so violent that Netflix rated it a- wait. A 15? What? How is it only a 15? So, I started off with coding it so that you would die if you moved on red sand. I then made it so that you could turn it from red light to green light, changing the colour of the sand. And after that, Darwin and I built the map for the game, with the houses, the fake background, and even the creepy doll. And finally, with all the code finished, I decided to get some friends together to test it. Oh, oh my god. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Yeah. Like uh, a it's a reaction. Yeah, I told you it's, it's crazy. You need to add it so it says red light, and, and then it's it like, like, like on the screen. Because there's oh, no yeah. warning. <laughs> there's zero warning. Oh, yeah. There is a oh, so so The lightning from the death kills the players around yeah, you. Yeah, it almost kills me. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. yeah. I can stop that. Yeah. Oh my see God. what I mean? No, do you see what I mean? Anybody with higher ping than me or Dread insta dies. Pro Chef, try do it. Pro Chef will die every time. Ah! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I win! Oh my god, the glass. Yo, I made it! Wait, how did Red die? I did it! After testing, it was clear that there were a few tiny issues, one of which was the game being very dependent on ping, meaning Pro Chef in the USA, who has a higher ping than Dread and Lucky in the UK, will have a slower reaction time because of the time taken for the signal to be sent from London, the location of the server, to Pro Chef's PC, I think. To be honest, I actually have no idea. So to fix this, I simply made it a longer warning, meaning players now have 30 ticks, or one and a half seconds, to stop moving, as opposed to the previous half a second. And even though this would make it quite easy for anyone playing in Britain or Europe, I didn't want too many players eliminated this round anyway, so it's fine. The next game to make will be Glass Bridge, where players have to jump across a dangerous bridge, guessing the correct glass pane to jump on to move on, otherwise falling to their doom. <laughs> For this, my friend Elmo made a massive map to hold the glass bridge. Oh, I can't even see the black anymore. Oh my god, what? <laughs> what's happening? Oh, I just gotta like, I gotta look really close now. Yeah, take, like, a, when take I, a break when I was, before like... you lose your mind. Go on uh, Palmsy stream. Oh wait, yeah, oh, okay. I just have it on my second monitor. Yeah, no, I'm watching that on. <laughs> and then I coded it so that if you stepped on the wrong glass block, it would break and send the player down. And so, with all the code seemingly working, I decided to bring the testers back to see how a game would look. I, I bet. I'm going for it. Actually, I don't know what it's for. Oh. <laughs> what okay, so it's a bit buggy. Bro, I'm I knew this. Bro, I knew that one was- Yo! Hey. Yo! 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 What? Alright, so we know it's not our one. Yeah. This one? Oh, oh shit! Oh my god. <laughs> That's why you like sped on it, it was... Oh, what are you yeah. doing? What have you done? You know what, I'm making it. Oh? Oh? No! Wait! Guys, my ping might be a little high, I'm at 680. Oh! What? So, a big problem. Yeah, so it took me quite a few hours of looking into it and testing it on my own just to realise that I assigned the location to the wrong player, meaning it was looking for the position of the player who ran the command, rather than the one standing on the glass. So another way to look at it is that this one word caused this absolute monstrosity to occur. But don't worry, it, it should be fixed now. It's the left one. It's the left one? It's the left one. No, I found me it's the left one. See? Oh, oh. I told you, it's the left one. It's the left Yo, one again, Wendy's, guys. It's the left one again. I've been studying glass for 50 years. Is it left or is it... Oh. Ah! It's not... <laughs> okay, uh... If it was... It's Lucky's turn. We'll see. Mm. Yo! <laughs> shift, bro, shift, shift, shift. Uh, I'm ready, bro. Don't. don't I'm don't ready, bro. Up. Oh, okay. I've yeah, been studying okay. glass for 69 years. <laughs> uh, I've got an idea. I'm just gonna insta jump to the other one if it like if it happens. I don't, I don't think that's. I don't think you can do that. <laughs> Bye, this guy. I'm him. I'm him. I'm him. I right, go on, no. G. Yes, Chico, 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 we made it. Yes. No. Yeah. Yay. Oh, 
guys. <laughs> the other Squid Game games can be quite difficult to recreate inside Minecraft, so for six legs there were a bunch of Korean games, so I decided to add some classic Minecraft games like Spleef and Parkour. Spleef was actually relatively easy to make because I needed to make a few snow layers and then that was it. I coded it so when the games start, you are given an iron shovel which insta mines snow. And so now the Spleef code is fully done, I'm going to test it with some friends. No. Wait. No. Okay. Devious. Oh my god. Okay, there was blocks below me. But... Oh, that one again. There's a level of it. Hey, she's. <laughs> she's. <laughs> hey! Hey! Oh my god, I got so sad. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Oh, No. Now that's done, it's time to create Minecraft Parkour, inspired obviously by Parkour Civilization, by the classic parkour maps that OGs used to play. For this point in the game, I wanted to mix things up a bit, so players will be choosing a number, and that number is the parkour course that they will have to complete, except they won't know what the maps look like, so it will mainly be left up for fate and luck. Not only that, but players will be able to get into teams of whatever size they want, but in order to move on, everyone from that team must cross the finish line, and the last team to do so will be eliminated from the games. And after that, we have Mingle, which seems kinda boring in Minecraft, so instead, they'll be rushing to green blocks, which are safe blocks. Every other block turns red, and after a second, it falls, leaving anyone standing on it to fall to their death. To fall to their death That's a bit dramatic. What's this, what's this, what's this block? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, cheating, bro. The final game is very much inspired by the last episode of Squid Game Season 2. So warning, spoilers ahead, and behind I guess, but yeah. The Squid Game guards will have full enchanted Nevi armor and will have to protect a fort from the remaining players in the game, who will all be given full enchanted diamond armor. They will have to enter the moderation room or the fort and destroy the beacon in order to win the games. If every player is eliminated, the admins win, but if the beacon is broken, the players win. For this, Darwin and I built and textured the massive staircase seen in both Squid Game 1 and 2. This set plays a big part in the second season, as it's the location for the final episode showdown, which I just want to say was absolutely insane. I thought it was incredible. Anyway, once I was done glazing Squid Game, Darwin, Dread and I made it all as colourful as possible, and I made sure there were plenty of spaces to hide and sneak around, allowing for some strategic moves in the last game. The players competing this challenge will have no idea where to go or where the X is. So, while fighting the pink soldiers, aka us, they will also be searching for the purple maze that will lead them to the control room, where they will have to use their pickaxe to break the beacon and win the game. Remember, in 3 weeks, 21 days, I will be uploading a video on this Squid Game recreation with as many players as I can get a hold of, so make sure you're subscribed to be notified when I upload it. Unless it's already on screen, in which case, just subscribe, I promise you won't regret it.